groundbreaker in his music and in his showmanship, especially in his live performances, and his legacy extends far beyond his songs. And for more, I'm joined now by John Giddings. He is the European promoter for David Bowie. And so thank you so much for joining us here on CNN. Such shocking and, and devastating news, a, a tremendous loss. Um, as soon as you heard of David Bowie's death, what did you think? What came to your mind? How sad it was, and I had no idea it was coming. You know, I thought with, over the last couple of years, delivering those albums and being back on an artistic wave, I thought everything was in the future now, and I thought he would be doing shows in the future. It was absolute. I mean, the world has lost a musical genius, and it's not just a musical genius. He was the cutting edge of art, fashion, photography, film. And he's a legend. Uh, David Bowie, he played his last UK show in 2004 at your festival. Could you take us back to that moment? What was that performance like? Well, it's got, obviously it's got a lot more meaning now than it had then, but it was incredible at the time. I remember he came across the Solent. You can only get there by ferry, and he got off the bus and went in the cafe and chatted with everyone. I think people don't realize what a humble human being he was and how dedicated to his art he was and what a sense of humor he had. You know, he wandered around all day talking to the other artists on the festival, asking about the island. He was interested in everything that went on. I've read that you have uh, had a, a long association with David Bowie, dating even beyond 2004 to 1987. That was his uh, Glass Spider tour. Um, so yeah. you've seen him in person just reinvent himself and reinvent pop music again and again. You know, your thoughts on that and, and just how David Bowie was able to do it? Well, he was always ahead of the game. When people turned up at the shows dressed as Ziggy Stardust, he was already a lad insane. And he went all the way through his career. And I remember him telling me about a group called Arcade Fire, who I'd never heard of. He was always interested in what the next thing was, the next thing going to be. And he would never stand still. It was incredible the way he had the foresight of all of that. Hmm. And in recent years, were you able to, to talk to him, or did you keep up with him at all? Yeah, I saw him a couple of times in New York, and he was always friendly, came to other shows, hung out. Um, he would send emails occasionally. There was one funny moment where someone sent me a painting they claimed was by him, and I sent it to him for a laugh. And he just said, look at the signature, John. Nobody would ever think that was me. Um, you know, he had a great, great sense of humor, and to hang out with him was a privilege and a pleasure. And I'm proud to have been involved, and it's one of the saddest moments of my life today. You know, I think that's a side of David Bowie we don't know much about, is the humorous side. Could you perhaps share that moment with us, or, or at least an exchange you had with him that you'll always remember? Well, it was funny at the Isle of Wight Festival when I introduced him to the charlatans, and he was talking away to them, and he turned around to me and said, when did I play here last, John? And I said, you've never played here, David. But he said, well, I'll make it up as I go along then. He was always amusing. You know, he was a London boy. He had that great British sense of humor. John Giddings, concert promoter, European promoter for David Bowie. Thank you so much for joining us and sharing your thoughts on his life, what he was like as a person, and the legacy of David Bowie. Thank you so much. Thank you very much. Cheers. Bye-bye. Legendary British singer David Bowie, who indelibly influenced generations with his eclectic persona and groundbreaking sound dead at age 69 after an 18-month battle with cancer. Bowie's publicist telling CNN the icon died peacefully, surrounded by his family after a courageous 18-month battle with cancer. While many of you will share in his loss, we ask that you respect the family's privacy during their time of grief. His son tweeting, very sorry and sad to say it's true. I'll be offline for a while. Love to all. Is there life on Mars? An illustrious career spanning over 40 years, Bowie was born in South London as David Jones. Ground control to Major Tom. Bursting onto the scene in 1969 with the smash hit Space Oddity. Check ignition and may God's love be with you. And later as his ethereal space alien alter ego, Ziggy Stardust. Now Ziggy play guitar, jamming good with weird. 
Bowie's flamboyant theatrics and a fashion-forward style becoming a signature hallmark of the genre-defying pop fixture. There's a star, man the sky. His music, a rally cry for misfits everywhere. In 1996, Bowie was inducted into the Rock and Roll Hall of Fame and awarded a Grammy Lifetime Achievement Award 10 years later. His longtime wife, supermodel Iman, a steady fixture by his side. Bowie, a master of reinvention, continued working, dipping in and out of the public eye, releasing his latest album, Black Star, just days ago on his 69th birthday, much to critical acclaim. The album topping charts in the UK and the US. Something happened on the day highlighting Bowie's unparalleled ability to continue to push the envelope even after four decades in the industry.